In this section, we're going to solve some basic percent problems that involve translating statements about percent into equations and then solving the equations. There's really only three basic kind of percent problems, and each of them, each one of them is written right here. The first is, what number is 25% of 32? The second is, what percent of 36 is 9? And the last is, 32 is 50% of what number? Now we're going to take a sentence like this and translate it into an equation and solve it. The translations we use are going to be like this. Is will translate into equal. The word of always translates into multiply. And then if we say what number or what percent, we're going to let that be n or x or whatever variable you would like. These are the three basic percent problems. And as you will see as we go on in this chapter and solve some application problems, the key will be translating our other applications into one of these basic percent problems and then solving it. But I think you're going to see that the method of solution for these right here is a very straightforward method um, that's not too difficult to grasp. Let's look at the first one. What number is 25% of 32? So we translate. What number translates into n? is translates into equal. 25% as a decimal is point, 0 0.25 of is multiply and then 32. So the translation is really pretty simple. It's very direct. What number, that stands for n, okay? So I have n is translates into equal 0 0.25 of is times and then 32. Now the reason I write 0.25 here instead of 25% is that I'm going to be doing some arithmetic here and I need to be able to, to work with a decimal. I can't do arithmetic with percents. The next thing is simply to multiply. When I multiply, I end up with 8. So n is equal to 8. So 8 is the number that's 25% of 32. And that makes sense, doesn't it? Because 25% is the same as 1 fourth, and isn't 1 fourth of 32 the same as 8? Let's look at our next problem. What number is 54% of 38? So again, I just do my translation. What number, that will be n, is translates as equal, 54%, 0 0.54, and then of translates to multiply, I'll use parentheses this time, 38. So n is equal to 0 0.54 times 38. When I actually do that multiplication, and I'll do it on a calculator, I end up with n equal 20.52. So very straightforward process of translation. That gives us an equation to solve. We solve the equation, and that's our solution. Let's take a look at our next example. Problem three, we have what percent of 36 is 9? So let's just continue our sort of mechanical translation. What percent is n of translates as multiply 36. Oops, 36. Let's write a 36 instead of a 32. And then is translates as equal, and then the number 9. So I have n times 36. Let's write that as 36n is equal to 9. Here's an equation to solve, because I know n times 36 is the same as 36 times n. Divide both sides by 36. I end up with n is equal to 9 divided by 36. That's the same as 1 fourth. So I get 0 0.25. And my problem asked for what percent, so I'm going to change this into a percent and that's 25%. So when it says what percent, I'm going to let that be the variable n, and I have to remember that I'm looking for a percent. So when I end up with n itself, in this case as a decimal, I want to convert it into a percent so I answer the question correctly. Now does that seem to make sense? What percent of 36 is 9? Isn't 9 25% of 36? It's 1 fourth of 36. So it makes sense intuitively. Let's look at our next example. 65 is what percent of 130? Let's continue to translate mechanically here. 65 is what percent, so n, times of 130. So I end up with 65 equals n times 130. I'll divide both sides by 130. So I end up with just n right here as 65 over 130. Now that will come out to be, let's see, it's 65 over 130 is 1 half. So I end up with n is equal to 1 half, which is 0 0.50, which is 
So solving the equation, that's really the, the easy part right here. And in this case, I could either write the answer as a fraction or as a decimal, 0 0.50, and then change to a percent because I'm asked for what percent in the problem right here. So that's why I change, uh, instead of using a decimal or a fraction, I write the answer as 50%. Let's try a couple more of these. Problem five, we have eight is 2% of what number? So I'm gonna translate eight is, 2% is 0 0.02 of means multiply, what number is n? So I just multiply times n. Now to solve this problem, I'm gonna divide both sides by 0 0.02, 0 0.02. Those will divide out, I'll have left just n on the right side right here, and when I divide eight by 0 0.02, I'll get 400. So n is equal to 400, and let's see, that seems to make sense. Eight is 2% of 400. Sure, eight is 2% of 400. So I just simply translate into an equation, solve that equation, and there's my result. N is equal to 400. Here's our last problem. 32 is 50% of what number? Well, we could do this in our heads if we have an intuitive idea about percent. 32 is gonna be 50% of 64. But let's do the translation and see how it looks. 32 is, 50% is 0 0.50 of means multiply, and then what number? That will be n. So 32 is 0 0.5 times n. Divide both sides by 0 0.5, or 0 0.5, whichever one you want. 32 divided by 1 half is going to be 64. So n is equal to 64. So even if we don't have an intuitive grasp of a percent, we're still gonna come out with the right answers by doing the translations this way. So there's a look at the basic percent problems.